of the 30,000 missing that we can't account for that actually died in a bombing or something where we buried them, they're, they're not account, they're, they're just not so successful. So what I wanted to show you there is just show you the, the, the level of scientific work that goes on as part of this international human rights, um, uh, this international human rights uh, 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 effort. And I just, and, and, and so, um, you know, you, it's, it's essentially the same story in each of these places, and I'm going to give you a more detailed version of the Argentine one uh, in, just, uh, in just a second. And as in Cambodia, um, many, we have even less real evidence since these guys were just thrown into pits and burnt. Um, the country which usually cremated, so we have own, basically only, only bones and very little. Though in some cases, it's not the case, and you can find... Um, uh, some mass graves where, where victims' clothing was cleaned uh, and deodorized, and this is still, uh, this is um, uh, um, uh, packed up. Okay, so what I, all, what I want to say in conclusion is just to remind you where I, where I began, that the, that the claims of the dead um, have in some, and the injured, the, the body of the injured, have always been part of human rights discourse, that they became much more important in the late 19th century. Um, and that they're now a central feature uh, of human rights activity and, 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 um, uh, and human rights practice, both in the, in the forensic sense of actually identifying people for crimes and bringing them to trial on the one hand, and in the sort of effort to reconstitute and reconcile uh, by, by returning bodies to their families, by letting a family continue, have, have a history because they know the end of a person. Your child just wasn't dropped off on an airplane we know something about that child, and we know something about the history. So, it's, so in some sense, they're part of the sort of reconciliation process um, and the truth process. Um, that's one version of the of the of the, um, of the of the one side, the other side of the criminal prosecution process. So, I've tried to tell you both things. Okay. So, I will see some of you for coffee on Monday, I hope, and I'll see the rest of you uh, for crime on um, Tuesday. Have a good